listening, I've surveyed hundreds of leaders in corporations and the, of what is the attribute of your greatest leader and the one that comes up by far the most often, they listen to me. They listen to me. Do you know as you go high up in an organization, any organization, the higher up you go, it just works out that the more results-oriented people are. And the more results-oriented people are, the less talented they are at listening. They like to talk. They like to tell you what to do, tell you what they think. But listening is not their natural skill. I started learning to listen at home about 12, 15 years ago. Oh my gosh, was that the hardest thing I ever had to do. <laughs> I'm serious. It was like an out-of-body experience. Our kids are grown, left home. I told my wife, I was going to start working to be a better listener. I don't know how much of what I told her, but uh, this is my commitment, okay? I learned that I needed to be listening. Our kids are gone. We need to really enjoy this time together. And we finished dinner, and I, I'm a doer. I just get up and go do something. I'm antsy, okay? And I would turn over to her, and I'd say, well, tell me about your day. She looked at me. You don't want to hear about my day. Go on. <laughs> no, I want to hear about your day. And she would start to tell me about her day. And within 15 seconds, my mind is racing out the door. <laughs> it's like an out-of-body experience. Where is my mind? Get in here, boy. Get in here, Lee, in this chair and listen. So I'm looking at her, and I'm trying to act like I'm really <laughs> right into it. I promise you, it just, it was so hard, and I kept working. And finally, I developed, I'm a, I'm a visual, mental, visualization person. I pictured the Kentucky Derby, because the one thing, my mother was a big sports fan, and we didn't know anything about horse racing down on the farm, but we always turned on the TV once we got one on the farm, and we watched the Kentucky Derby. And when they come around the final turn, the horses don't quit, do they? And one reason they don't quit is the jockey gets the whip out, and so I pictured, don't quit listening, Lee. Keep going. We ain't to the finish line. We're not there yet. I'm serious. That's an honest story. Listening is very hard, but it's the most powerful leadership attribute you can do. It builds trust and confidence. When you connect with someone like that, it increases their energy, and they pass it on to others. It's essential for cohesion, for employee engagement, retention, and customer engagement. I'm going to send uh, John some, uh, a one-page summary of some Gallup research I did about customer engagement. Customer engagement is worth a lot of money. The way you get customer engagement is you have employees that are emotionally engaged to the company. And the only way you get that is their leaders have to connect with them and help them to feel connected and valued.